Hi, Jeff Herodine, Barletta Pontoons, talking about bimini tops today. The standard power bimini tops that we put on every pontoon boat that we make are really wonderful and easy to use, but there's some things that we want you to know to use them safely and most effectively. We have a couple of different positions that the bimini top can be in physically. Right now, I've got it in what we would call a trailering position, which is also great if you're around a boat lift or you're trying to tuck a boat into a garage maybe going under a bridge where you need some extra clearance. And so the trailering position will have our uh, Bimini short legs down on each side. That'll help hold that thing in place a little bit. When I put the Bimini top up into a more usable position, I prefer to tuck those legs back into the frame because I think it looks just a little bit better. The next position for a Bimini top would be what we would call the radar position. So in the radar position, the boot is still on, but the bimini is all the way in the uh, most forward or the most up position it can be with the boot on. And then of course, an open position where the bimini is fully deployed, giving you shade throughout the boat. Now, one thing that I find a lot of people uh, need to know when they're getting familiar with our bimini tops, it's a relay switch that when you open the bimini top it will automatically stop itself so you'll hear the sound of the electric motor kind of starting to whine or change a little bit it's perfectly normal keep holding that button down the switch stops itself when it's in the right spot okay if we want to fully deploy or open this bimini top into the shaded position i'll start with it down in the trailer position like it is right now and i like it that way for a couple of reasons number one of course it's a lot easier to work with getting the bimini uh, boot off while it's down lower and another thing about it if you've ever opened a bimini when it's um, taking the boot off when it's in an up position there's nothing supporting this back bow so it'll want to fall down on you and it's not safe it's a little dangerous certainly uncomfortable so we'll always start from the trailering position I'll unclip these clips on the side that, by the way, are there to keep wind from blowing up in here um, when you're maybe trailering down the road at 70 miles an hour. So that's why we put those there. And then I can reach my zippers from right in the middle. Unzip both sides. I can slide it up and over the anchor light and find a nice seat to tuck this under while we're not using it. And the bimini is now ready for me to push the button and open it fully. And remember, we're gonna hold that button until the relay switch stops the bimini from opening. Now that we've got the bimini top fully deployed in the open position, it's casting some great shade here at the back of the boat. I want to fold my trailering stanchions back into the bimini frame because I think it just looks better riding around the lake that way. And the other thing we can do if we need to is use our forward stanchions. And the forward stanchions are there to give more rigidity to that frame if you need it. And so let's talk through that. This bimini is perfectly fine to drive around the lake in idle winds up to 25 miles per hour. And so 25 miles an hour or less with no wind speed, I don't need to do anything with the forward stanchions if I don't want to. But if I deploy these forward stanchions to give it more rigidity, we can then go up to 45 miles an hour with no wind speed. Now keep in mind, wind speed will make a big difference. And so if I'm doing 20 miles an hour, but I come around a point on the lake into a stiff 20 mile an hour headwind, it's an effective 40 mile an hour coming at me. And so we want to always keep wind speed in mind. And also please keep in mind, a 10 mile an hour wind can easily gust to 15 or 20 on a nice hot summer day. So keep the wind speed in mind, keep your boat speed in mind, and then I would always just play it a little bit conservative. If you have any question, you're in doubt, just put the bimini top away. Hopefully the wind is blowing fast enough that keeps you uh, cool, or choose to slow that boat back down a little bit and keep the bimini top open. So use good common sense always when you're out on the water with the wind speed and the bimini top speed ratings. Another thing that I really like about this bimini top is that we designed our anchor light to not be a rigid mount. And the reason we did that um, is it will allow for a little bit of flexibility or play in that 
Bimini top light just in case you find an obstruction inadvertently. So think about maybe coming into a low bridge or maybe a boat lift for some of you. If you're coming in slow enough and you get some forward pressure out of that light, it has an opportunity to move itself out of the way. So it's not foolproof. Certainly if you hit something hard enough, uh, you could always damage the light. But rather than having that fixed mount, we put a little rubber bushing in here to allow that to give a little bit in case you ever need it. One more fun thing I'll share with you about this Bimini top is you don't have to have it in the fully up or open position to block some sun. And so if you're in a light wind speed situation, you can put this Bimini into a cabana mode where it's open, but blocking the sun coming at you maybe in an evening sun from the rear of the boat. And it's wonderful, particularly on our ultra lounge or any of our lounge boats, when you might be laying back there like a cabana and you want a little bit extra shade. So now we've got the Bimini top stored with the storage boot on, the Barletta logo facing forward. I've got my safety clips in place, and this is now in what we call the radar position. So I can drive my boat around the lake at wide open throttle with the Bimini top just like this. I hope you found this video very helpful about how to properly use the Bimini top. Refer back to it anytime you need. But this Bimini top, standard on all Barlettas, should be great, safe, and easy for you to use. See you on the water. Have some fun.